there are many paths to becoming an asteroid scientist. I mean, you could be a, a chemist like me, a biologist or a natural science person, and want to understand the molecular makeup of these asteroids to so try to understand what's actually on them. What were the formations 4.5 billion years ago, the chemical signatures that were actually there that helped start life on our planet and maybe even other planets. Um, geology is another path, you know, being a geologist and understanding these rock formations and how they were actually formed, how they broke off of other planetary systems and were put in these orbits or an astrophysicist, uh, a mathematician, you know, understanding the, the trajectories and the orbits of these hurtling and tumbling rocks full of metals and gases and things. And so there are many paths, but I think the most critical path is just to be a lifelong learner and curious as to what's up there and how we can solve problems, explore, and make our life better on this in this universe.